Hey all. So today I'm going to share a granola bar recipe, a healthy one. I work full time at a desk. I have lots of meetings in the day. I sometimes in the construction sites all day. So I understand the need for you know energy, a quick pick me up, um, just getting something in your belly. Um, it, it's really important to obviously keep feeding your metabolism, but What's also important is making it healthy. All right, let's get started. So first, you need to preheat your oven to 375. Next, get a glass pan. I prefer a square 8 by 8 dish and thoroughly coat it with co melted coconut. You want to make sure you get all the sides. Next, I will brown a little oatmeal. This isn't necessary, but it adds a little crunch. I layer one um, layer of oatmeal over tinfoil and pan. And like I said, it takes no longer than five to 10 minutes. Next, in a small bowl, I add the flax meal, ground flax meal, and my egg whites. This is one mixture that will be used later, so you wanna make sure that you thoroughly mix it with a whisk um, fork and set that aside. Next, in a small saucepan, you want to add your coconut oil and your honey. This is something that I get from the farmer's market, so it's completely organic. This is something you can also not put in if you're worried about the carbs or sugar. I would suggest adding one more egg white if that's the case. Next, you do your nut butter. As I mentioned before, I prefer cashew butter, but almond butter and peanut butter do work in this. Now you add your um, vanilla extract and your liquid stevia. Now it's the process of heating, keep it on low and thoroughly mixing this mixture. Now you add the flax seed and egg whites um, when you take off from the heat. So again, you want to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Next, you want to mix your dry goods in a medium-sized bowl. This includes your seeds and your nuts. With the nuts, I will make sure that I um, crack them up a little bit so that they are a little bit smaller pieces to manage. And then, of course, the good stuff. I put in some um, basically dark chocolate sweetened with stevia chocolate chips. They are a great additive and then also the unsweetened coconut. Again, these two things can be taken out and they, the bars would still be very good, but you know, you gotta add the good stuff. So you thoroughly mix the mixture and then you add your, um, which should be cooled, liquid goo or the glue as I would say. And this takes some time to thoroughly mix and coat everything. You wanna make sure everything is real sticky because it's key to keeping these bars together in the long run so that they don't crumble in your hand. Once you get this all thoroughly mixed, you want to make sure you put it in your pan evenly and don't be afraid to get your hands dirty because that is the best way to compact these babies. Use your elbow grease and get those suckers really tight and compacted in your pan. Next, you put it in the oven and you wait about 20 to 30 minutes. The important thing here is when you take it out to let it cool about 10 minutes before cutting. Then cut while it's still a little gooey and then you place it in your refrigerator so that um, they kind of harden. It's important to get them cut before you put them in the fridge because they may crumble at your knife. Again, these are amazing. So my warning is just be careful. Don't have sticky fingers and eat too many. Basically the breakdown here is 16 servings, which puts you at 243 calories each bar, 18 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and 6 grams of protein. Like I said, I mentioned a couple alterations that would change slightly, um, but generally that's where you're at when you keep with this recipe. Um, you can even break down the bars a little bit more or a little bit bigger. Uh, just obviously plan accordingly. So I hope you enjoy 
Like I said, these are great, great bars to have um, as a quick bite um, if you're in a quick bind. Alright, bye.